in this video. And for no bloody reason at all, I'll show you how to make battle pets the size of a raid boss. Hello, and welcome to Archvelder's Hacks with Archvelder and his amazing hacks. In order to use this glitch, you'll need several things, none of which are that easy to get. First, you'll need a max level rogue with Glyph of Disguise. You can use a class trial, but that will limit your options somewhat. Second, you'll need the toy item Narcissus Mirror. And that's an item from the Dalaran Pet Store. That's an item which requires a thousand pet charms to acquire. You can get around an average of 15 pet charms from each pet battle world quest. You'll need a decent number of pets and a guide to pet battling such as Zufu's pet battle guides to get the mirror. And alts will help a lot here. Alternatively, you can get the Boon of the Zoo Keeper enchantment, again from the Dalaran Pet Store. And that way you can grind up pet charms by just doing Legion content. Finally, you'll need the Toxic Wasteling Pet, which you can buy cheaply off the auction house. Once you've done all that, the next bit is relatively easy. Go to the Black Temple in Shadow Moon Valley and work your way through to the Halls of Anguish. This trick doesn't work with a class trial because you can't enter instances with a class trial. And pickpocket one of these Bone Sure Behemoth mobs. Thanks to Hydrolysate for the suggestion to use this particular mob. Now, you'll need to find an area with a reasonably large amount of critters and whip out your Toxic Wasteling pet. Use your Narcissus Mirror toy to copy your pickpocketed appearance onto that of the battle pet. And then remove the pickpocket disguise from your own character to avoid any confusion. The Wasteling eats any random critters that are nearby and increases in size with every meal. When the Wasteling has reached maximum size from this effect, you can increase size still further with a magical pet biscuit that can be purchased again from the pet store in Dalaran for a few pet charms. The two visual effects combined together, large mob appearance plus the Toxic Wasteling's growth ability, and you get a truly massive building-sized mob towering above you. Note that the critters that you can pet battle with, indicated by the green icon above their heads, don't get eaten by the Wasteling for some bizarre reason. Also, be careful not to use a flying mat at any stage, as your pet will quite likely despawn if you do and then you'll have to restart the whole process from scratch. And now you can see the ultimate gargantuan size of the pet. Note that the pet will walk straight through buildings. By going to the auction house here you can just see the legs sticking through the roof. You can also use the same trick with the hate coil arcanist mobs from Eye of Ashara, which were recently featured in my top 10 transformations video. That's a slightly smaller mob than the Behemoth, but it's much more richly detailed. Note you can also apply pet grooming toys and items to enhance the effects of your pet, as I'm demonstrating here. The effect I'm using here is a fell petal from a toy item called the Perfect Blossom, which I got from Zora Marsh in Tanan Jungle. You can also use the pet as a gigantic advertising hoarding, because the name of battle pets can be changed instantly by just right-clicking on them and using the rename function. So you can put up commercial messages or friendly messages to the people that you care about most on your server. 
one large mob that can be pickpocketed with a class trial rogue is the Tide Breaker from Azuna. Because it's out in the open world near the entrance to the Ivashara. You can also use the same trick to get massive NPCs in the guise of law characters, such as Sylvanas here. As you can hear, when you copy the appearance of an NPC character onto a pet, they retain their original voice dialogue. The transformation will persist until you either log out or mount up and fly on a flying mount. Unlike most transformation effects on your actual character, there is no timer. You can use this trick with other models, in theory almost any model, though the size increase is generally going to be less dramatic than the examples I've used here. Now always when I make this type of video someone will say you'll get banned for doing this, or someone more thoughtful will just ask whether they can get banned for doing this. And while I don't work for Blizzard obviously, so I can't give 100% categoric assurance. This type of glitch has happened quite frequently in the past. Earlier in Legion, for example, there was a glitch to do with the quest the day Deathwing came. And for some time, actually, I think it was almost a month, uh, players were coming into Stormwinds uh, as large as the models you'll see in this video. And I don't know of anyone who was actually banned for doing that. Eventually Blizzard nerfed the opportunity, but there were no repercussions to anyone's actual account. That said, I would avoid using this trick to grief or otherwise harass or annoy players, uh, because that will generate reports, and antisocial behaviour will get you banned. If you want to know more about this, I'll leave a link in the description to my video can I get banned for using this exploit, where I go into the issue of what does and does not get you banned uh, in more detail. Okay, so there's the video. If you liked it, why not subscribe? And if you really liked it, why not consider joining my super secret Patreon feed, where tricks like this get posted weeks or even months before they appear on YouTube. You'll also get access to a treasure trove of information that I can never publish publicly because it would just get hot fixed. Thanks for watching. This has been Archvelde. Hey everyone, I just found a bug. I know, I know. These just get worse and worse, don't they? Cockroaches are probably throwing up at the walls at that one. <laughs>